Yeah, Larry, the uh, products seem pretty decent. Strong, durable, reliable. In fact, actually, I used one last night. No, 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 not with anyone, just, just, just on my own. But, yeah, I have to say, they look pretty decent, pretty reliable. So, how much were they each per unit? 10 per unit. Okay, how many units have you got? 10,000. Hmm. And they're not used right, they're new. Okay. I'll take 5,000, I think. Yeah. I'll see you next week then, mate. Alright, I'll see you if they drop off next week. Cheers. Thanks again. Bye, mate. So there's some real addicts in there who must get here about half eight and it's like, I'm, like, I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm, I'm not waiting an hour to get into that car boot. Price has gone for 98 pounds. Oh, so that means you've got you. a point. So I, I said, I said eight. I made the mistake of saying 89 pounds as a 10% <laughs> leeway off the 98 pounds. So that's like, why I said yeah, 89 so, pounds. Oh. So you got that. Welcome to the ad show. So hi guys, it is Sunday and we are off to the indoor car boot sale at Northwich. Uh, it is 10, well no it's not 10.05, the clocks have gone back. Yeah, fall back, yeah. Spring forward, fall back. Uh, so yeah, the clock's gone back, so I need to change the clock in the car. But it is 9.06, and I'm g hopefully going to get there for about 9, 9.15 or something. And uh, it starts at half nine, so. Yeah, another car boot today. Let's see what we find. Obviously, I'm going to do some footage. I am going to hit up a few of the charity shops in Northwich as well. But there's not many open on a Sunday. I think there's maybe four, three or four open on, on a Sunday. So we'll hit up those as well. Do a little bit of footage and uh, see where the day takes us and see see what we can get for the vlog. So we are here now and I've just got to grab a ticket from the old ticket stand for the car park. It used to be a free car park, this one. I don't know, maybe six months ago, probably about a year, probably over a year ago now. You know what my perception of time's like, it's terrible. I'm looking over at the Memorial Court where they host the car boot right now. So I'm going to grab this ticket, put it in my car so that then I don't get a ticket thing or... What do you call it? What do we call it? Parking fine thing. I don't even know. But yeah, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to get in there. I'll probably end up getting to the back of the queue because I think people must get here at about half eight just to wait in line because when I get here, even when I've got here at about nine o'clock before, the queue's been really, really long. So there's some real addicts in there who must get here at about half eight. And it's like, I'm, like, I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm, I'm not waiting an hour to get into that car boot. If it was a really good car boot, I'd do it. But I'm not waiting an hour just standing there. So uh, yeah, I just get at the back of the line. And you know what? I still get some decent items, so I don't really think it matters too much. But people seem to think it does, so they kind of wait here since about half eight, I think. But anyway, yeah, we'll get in there and we'll see what I can get. So we are here at the Northwich Indoor Memorial Hall car boot sale. Uh, this is my local indoor car boot sale when obviously the outdoor ones aren't on over winter or over autumn and winter. Um, so yeah, it was pretty busy in there today, quite a lot of buyers. In fact, I've had to cut down this footage quite a lot because the majority of the footage I actually got was me just standing behind people waiting to get through um, to, to get to other stalls. So yeah, it was pretty busy in there um, and there was a lot of stalls, but a lot of them... As I've said in the past, about 50% of these stalls are dealers or just random kind of stalls. And then another 50% are the actual private sellers, which are where you're going to get your bargains from. 
I actually saw someone as well uh, waiting in line who is a viewer of mine. I've, I can't quite remember his name, but I think it was Nathan. Um, I'm okay with names. I'm okay with remembering names, but sometimes when I meet people, I do forget. So I apologize if it isn't Nathan, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, he's been a member of the reselling community for quite a while now. So I did just see him there anyway um, and had a quick chat to him in the line. But we're getting to the end of these clips now, so I will let you get on with the rest of the vlog. So, I'm out of there now. Um, I don't know whether you can see me very well. I've put my little sun visory thing down. Is that what these are called? I don't even know what the actual official name for these are, but I'm going to call it sun visor. I think that's as good a name as any, really. Got a little mirror in here as well, so you can check yourself out and go, how are you doing, you know? Oh, no, that's, uh, what's that, Friends, isn't it? Uh, Matt LeBlanc, what's his character called? Joey, that's it. Anyway, I digress. Um, I have got back from car boot. Well, I've not got back from a car boot. I'm in the car on the car park at the car boot. Well, the car park opposite zip the car boot anyway this is getting like um, um convoluted that's the word i'm trying to think of um so it's getting convoluted so anyway i got in there i got two items which is absolutely terrible to be honest i just couldn't be bothered and a few weeks ago i was thinking oh yeah this is brilliant this car boot and i got loads of items and then this week i'm like oh god this is terrible this car boot i got two items and really if we're being honest it's just how it goes you know some weeks are really good other weeks really bad i did see some good items in there it wasn't that there wasn't good items in there it was just i was pretty much beaten to the punch to a few things by a few people and it wasn't there wasn't loads and loads of good things in there but there was a few good things in there that I missed and then I was like walking around and, you, know, you know it's cramped it's tight there's loads of people in there and I was like you know what let's just go around some chasers so I'm gonna go around with chasers now see what we uh, get up to see if we can find anything and uh, yeah we'll uh, we'll get on with the day So I just come out of one of the charity shops down at the bottom of town and I'm greeted by this huge pool of water. Um, we had loads and loads of rain over a couple of days uh, when I was uh, shooting this footage and uh, clearly town was slightly flooded. Uh, this is another part actually uh, um, the side of one of the charity shops. One of the charity shops is the side building to this shop and uh, yeah just water everywhere. Right, so I am back now, and my god, did you see that flood? That is crazy. We've been having a lot of rain over the last few hours, the last 24, 30 hours, something like that. It's just been raining like loads. It's only today that it stopped, really. So yeah, that was crazy. Also, there was a blind guy, or a blind and deaf guy. He had one of the sticks with the yellow, with the white and the red, which I think is blind and deaf, but when everyone was shouting to him he heard us so maybe that's just blind i don't know but there's a code isn't there on the sticks that we have i think it's white that's just blind and white and red is deaf and blind but it, it was weird anyway so everyone so he's walking up to this where the flood is and everyone a load of people including myself were at the other end and everyone's shouting to him stop 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 you know as he's getting close to the water anyway he hears us so he mustn't have been deaf but I, I swear that red on a stick means deaf as well but i'm not sure but yeah so he hears us and luckily just as he's stepping into the water he, he stops but my god that was crazy and then to the other side the main street was flooded I went to the other side I, sh I did a little set a little bit of footage uh the other side uh sort of another walkway or another road was also flooded so yeah absolutely crazy i mean i knew we had had a lot of water over that sort of 24 hour period or so but wow that was absolutely crazy how much water was there um people were going through it on bikes and stuff and it was sort of coming up to the pedal level it was quite high 
so anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to show you these two items very quickly and that'll about do it for the vlog. So very quickly, the couple of items I did pick up from the car boot today was this Mike Dupes I Love Gardening Puzzle, uh, brand new and sealed. I always pick up these Mike Dupe ones whenever I see them brand new and sealed. Um, they're generally fairly bread and butter items, maybe, I don't know, $12.99, $14.99, something like that, um, in obviously sealed condition. Don't know about used, but I would never really pick up jig jigsaws used because I've had kind of bad experiences in the past with doing that. I did pick up a Discworld puzzle once and I was trying to count all the pieces and it was a crazy big puzzle as well. And yeah, just stick to picking up brand new and sealed puzzles if you if you can really, because it's so much easier. Um, so yeah, paid a quid for that one. That's all he wanted. He said you can take it for a quid. So I was pretty happy with that. Um, as I say, into maybe $12.99 or $14.99 there. And again, the other item, a brand new and sealed. Uh, is this a board game? I think it's like a stack, yeah, stacking game. Uh, Penguin, prickly pile up. I don't know why, but I wanted to say penguin pile up there. Actually, that's another game. I know why I wanted to say that because that's a Ravensburg game, Penguin Pile Up. Um, but yeah, prickly pile up here with these, these hedgehogs. Paid a quid for it, and I've sold this recently on eBay. Well, I say recently, probably in the last three months or so, um, for twelve ninety nine as well. So yeah, quid into twelve ninety nine. Nice little bread and butter item. That is literally it. They're the two items I got today. So I won't kind of stretch this out any further. Very very quick little haul uh, tagged on the end of this video, and I suppose. I will see you in the next segment of the video. So, see you very soon, guys. So, hi, guys, and welcome to another video. Today, we have my grandparents with me. We've got Bill and we've got Margaret there. Mommy. And today, we're going to do guest supplies again, like I did with my mum. So, the score to beat is 3 out of 10. I've explained to my grandparents how it works. So, essentially, as with last time, I've got a pile of sheets of paper with the sort of images and a very short description of the items. I'm going to pass them to my grandparents. They're going to confer a little bit. And then, obviously, they're going to give me a guess. And then if it's within a 10% margin of the actual price it sold for on eBay, they will get a point. If not, then they don't get a point. And obviously, I'll be re revealing the sold price based on the other sheets <coughs> of paper that I have. So, uh, should we get on with this? Yes. Yes. That's yeah. fine. Are you, uh, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. We're ready. Yeah. So, Take first... Three. It's like an so, antique roadshow. First item, so I'll just weave this out for the camera and then I'll pass it to you guys okay. and you can take your time with conferring what price you think this went for. So this is a Denny's Fisher 1970s stretched arm, Stretch Armstrong box toy. So it is in its box there. It's a vintage toy. Have a look at the photo. Read that very quick the description 70s. that I've uh, put there and have a think. Armstrong, Denny's Fisher. Yeah. 70s, remember. 1970s. Right, also, is it, is it? also, I want to want to say, don't give a price until you are absolutely, absolutely sure, sure, because I will take first guess. Yeah, so don't say anything, we have to whisper. Can I just ask, is it made of rubber, or is it, like, plastic, rigid plastic? I think, I think it's more rubbery. I think it's right. more rubbery. It's not, it's not hard plastic or anything like that. Right. Can you move all the arms and everything? Yeah, it, it stretches like out and it's, then, yeah. yeah. So you can discuss a price between yourself, but yes. don't give me an actual mm -hmm. guess. Right, okay. Um, Fisher's seventy. It's Fisher's well known. Well known. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the, the box is really the same. You don't have to whisper because obviously we've got the no. camera, so you oh, can that, you it, can. That um, pushes the yeah. price up yeah. if it's in its original box. Yeah, yeah I would say uh, yeah. If don't you can move. It, don't just, if you can move the limbs, that makes uh, something of it. And it's now the price we want in. What you think it's worth? Now? Well, it's what we're it's sold now? on eBay. It's a specific yeah, sold right. listing on eBay. And I would say the most important thing is Fisher, very well known company. And nineteen seventies. We've mm. got to confirm. Well, have a have a think about price between yourselves and then give Do me. Do I whisper? A, yeah. No, no, no. You can. You're fine to talk about price. I've got one in mind. Right. Uh, go on. What you say? I'd say round about one, that one. I'd say one twenty. For which are we going for mm. yours or mine price? Going between ninety. Right. We'll say ninety. 90. You're saying ninety. 90. Ninety pound. Wow. Wow. Okay, ninety pound. They have locked in a guess at ninety pound. Are you ready 
for the proper Are you ready for a proper for? price? Yeah. Remember, you've got a 10% leeway. Yeah. So if it's £89 or... Oh, 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 uh, yeah. 100 100. Or a hundred and... Yeah, basically hundred ninety nine pound No, wait, sorry. Uh, 10%. No, 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 wait, sorry. If it's £90, you've gone £90, that's £81, and yeah. then £99, yeah. Yeah, you know, right, same, okay. yeah. Okay, so, because oh, I'm going off the 10% margin of the actual price. <coughs> Why I said £89 is because the actual price has gone for £98. Oh, so that means you've got a point. So I, I said, I, said eight, I made the mistake of saying £89 as a 10% leeway <laughs> off the £98. So that's right, why I said yeah. £89. So, oh. so you got that. It went on got auction that. as well. It went on auction, so it got 13 bids, £98. Oh, pound. I was well, very um, impressed. impressed with... How you got that then? Yeah, that was yeah, incredible. Yeah. That was, yeah, I can't believe on, that. Don't go overboard, William. Right. I went nearest because I said 95. That yeah, was... and I was out. You with... said 95, you said 120. Said 120. Oh, 120. I said. No, you, no, said, you said 120. And I said right, okay. meet in the middle. You said meet yeah, in the middle. I was trying to make a bit of profit. Right. So, well, are you ready for this yeah. next one? Yes. Right. So, I'll read this out for the camera. Pokemon Master Trainer Game MB Games used. Now, this is a sort of like a board game for the Pokemon brand. This might be a little bit harder, I think. Pokemon, it's right. well known. Master Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah, it's Master, Master Trainer, Trainer game. game. And the game. And, the game and, and this is, this is in its original box, is it? Is it? Well, yeah, that's the box. The, the, the box has a little packaging. bit of, uh, slight bit of shelf wear and stuff, but I wouldn't yeah. worry about that too much. Got any idea of uh, when it was uh, produced? I think this was potentially 90s. I'm not 100% sure. I don't and know whether it said on the title or not. I know they're very popular. I know they're very popular. Yeah, I know. I'm going to... And it's a trainer oh, game. I don't want to <coughs> count what is trainer game. Well, it's games. It's something to do with the uh, Pokemon. What's the it, MB it, for? That's just Milton Bradley right. Games. Right. Is it, uh, brand. Is it, is it an electric electronic thing? Nothing I'm like not that sure. I'm like not that. sure. I don't think so. Right. I don't think so, but it mm -hmm. might be. It's all just a manual. And boys and girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it is. For anybody, it's a well, Pokemon is a brand that's boys, more really. more boys, yeah. but yeah. you know, girls play it, so and what age? Well to be honest, I'd say quite a lot of girls play it really, yeah. so what age know. age roughly are the people who's uh... <coughs> All ages. I mean, it started with kids, but yeah. loads of people play it of all age ranges. Right, that's what I want to I'm know. I'm going to go for... Wait, wait, wait. Be, uh, have I confirmed yeah, before I'm you... Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Um, what do you think? I've I me... think... I'm going to say £60. That's my... I'm going to say £80. Okay. So we'll um... go in the middle. So that's... 70 is in the middle. Yeah. You're mm, saying 60, I'm saying 80. 70 is in, in well, the middle. Well, we'll, we'll agree to meet in the 70. middle then, I don't know. So you're going for 70 pound. Uh, okay then. Let me. Uh, ready for it. So. Wow, I, I forgot this. what this went oh for. Oh my goodness. But you're not going to believe this. 69.95. Oh you got it pretty yes, much yes, bang yes, on. Yes, on. Oh my oh, god. Come on. Come on how? How? How are you doing well this? Done. This is well incredible. Done. Wow. So well two, done. two out of two so far. That's Where was good. that? Did I just put Mom's that down there? Oh yeah. yeah. So oh. number three, we've got this <coughs> 1998 electronic Winnie the Pooh bouncing Tigger oh toy. My god. Oh, so if you get yeah. this one, Electronic, yeah. if you get this one, you're already matching Matt with my mum. Mom. Now this is about it, so it's mechanical. It works. It goes up and down. It bounces, yeah. Yeah, uh, and is this that's like new condition as well, isn't it? That. Like it's new. it's used condition. It is no, used. No, it's used. used, but it does look new, doesn't it? It's yeah, it looks after. Nice. No, uh, the makers of it. Tigger. I'm not sure. Make, oh yeah, I'm the sure. Tigger. And Tigger. Well known. Yeah. It's obviously it's under the license of Winnie the Pooh. It's under the license of Winnie the Pooh. Oh, so oh right. And Tigger's quite. Uh, there's a lot of people into the Tigger mm, toys. Mm, mm, no uh, and it's 1998. Right, you right. go first. Give a guess. I'll have a, well, have a confirm and just see. Yeah. I'm thinking forty-five pounds. Oh, it's more than that. Mm. I'd say eighty-five pounds. 
Oh, well, now we are going to be stuck because oh, that's a massive go difference to mine. In the middle, then. I don't know. You're saying 45, I'm saying 85. I'd that's 40 difference, so 20 pound off 85 is 65. I right. think that's too much. Well, you, you, you make it. I think it's right. Well, Actually, I think it should be. More. I think it should be more than that. We'll go in the middle. Sixty-five. Final offer. You saying that? Well, you said that well, now. Okay. You've done it now, Bill. So, sixty-five pound is what you are saying. So, are you pretty it. confident with that? Yeah. yeah. I'm not confident with it. No. So, what would you think? Forty. Near, forty. I would have said forty. It sold for fifteen ninety nine oh plus postage, so you so are I, way I, off, way both out, of you. But I was still near to it. It had really been all electronics and all. I that. was still near to it. It was a bit of a trick one, Matt, because yeah. obviously it says vintage, so you automatically think, oh, it might be worth a bit more money. No, I didn't. And it's electronic yeah, and all that. I, sort I still thought it'd be about. When you said it was electronics, I thought, well, yeah. you know, there's but a lot of work gone into it. Yeah. But, but it's because it's second hand, yeah. And it just and it just shows as well that. Not everything is worth tons of money, you know. There's no, things no, out there that aren't <coughs> worth a lot of money. So. Yeah, you've got if you, you can know these things, obviously. Yeah, you've got to know well, what's what. Yeah, come on. Okay, next, next one. one. Right, so next here we have a uh, Chuckle Vision DVD series. Ooh. So I put this one in because I watched Chuckle Vision when yeah, I was around here quite did. a lot when, in, when, I younger. Hours, yeah, when I was younger. Um, so Chuckle Vision DVD series, series four to twenty one. This is. One of them's died on and Chuckle uh, these are just uh, in like little sleeves, so they're not in the original cases. Right. But bear in mind, you're getting about seventeen <coughs> series here. You can have a look at those and see what you think. So I'd say the seventeen series there, DVDs, Chuckle Vision. What, designs what DVDs. age uh, roughly does this appeal to? I would say roughly, you know, give us twelve. Some. Yeah, I mean the original kind of demographic would probably have been maybe six to Younger, twelve or yeah. something. Uh, yeah. But but bear in mind, Chuckle Vision has been off the air for a while now, it's and p people have grown up. So the kids who are watching it, maybe my age or older. Yeah. So therefore, That's they might generation. want to buy it for that for nostalgia yeah. as well. So. I uh, seventeen oh, no. items. So yeah, what they made? Them. What's the construction of well, them? Well, they're just DVDs. DVDs. They're, just DVDs. they're all DVDs. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, in just the sleeves. And it's not the complete series. No. Uh, but it is. There's four to twenty-one. So there's seventeen yeah. series there. So there's and, a lot of series. And, and they're not copies. They're all original. Yeah, I think so. I'm, I, I assume so. And it's important that, I've that got they are price original. In mind. So have I. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Um, I'm going to say 150. What, what you got? Well, no, okay, confirm with you. 80 pound. Let's go halfway. 80 pound. I don't want to, to go pound. past 100. That's 50 plus I would say 10. 100. Just a minute. Let's go past. 50 plus 10 is 60. Uh, 50 plus 10 is 60, so it's 30 well, pounds less. Say about, what did I say? About 120. I'm saying 110, 120. Well, well, what, well, what did I say? 150. So it's 30 off. Well, 30 off. 120. 120. Well, we've got to do one. Yeah, 110, and we'll agree on that. I think 115 is bang in the middle. 80 to 150, 115, I think. I'd say 110. 110. 110. Yeah, I'm happy to go with 110. All right. So you think 110? Yeah. Could be more. So are you right? Do you think you've gone too low, too high there? What I do you think? think no, we're not I quite think high, high enough. I think we're too that's, high. That's my reserve I on think it. Is that? Be too high, but I Bill. think it, yeah, but I. But I've gone with you. Yeah, but I would. I think what I've said, it should be slightly higher. Slightly higher. Right. So these sold for. Fifty-seven pound oh, on auction oh, plus four pound postage. Right. Oh, I see. So yeah, that's those. But but I when I was looking for these, I thought that was pretty high. Yeah. That they'd sold for fifty-seven yeah. quid for some DVDs is quite yeah. high, mm. especially with them not in the cases and stuff. So no, that's right. yeah, yeah. Mm. So I again would have been nearer though because I was saying eighty hundred. Yeah. But I still yeah. I was way out. 
But yeah, we're still so, near her. Next one, I think we're on number five or six yep. now, something like that. So we're getting to that halfway mark, I think maybe four or five or one. It's a learning curve. So this one is a chrome letterbox oh, where uh, chrome. chrome, yeah, letterbox with a door <coughs> handle, uh, it's a sort of art deco project replacement there. So oh, that's what oh, it that's is. That's nice now, then. Now you're talking. What is the metal? That is, chrome. it's, yeah, it's that's like chrome. pewter, but I don't chrome know. Means it's yeah, finished. I know. Yeah, that sorry, like actually, pewter, let me just... It's, it's, it's the base metal. Let me just look, check. Look, it's just got just a minute. No, it could be brass because it's got to work for outside, so brass would... No, it doesn't. It just says chrome. It just says chrome. Well, chrome. Well, if it was brass, made from brass, and then it, see, you can see the way it's, it's like peeled out. Pewter, it's like pewter, that's like... Let me just have a quick look at the chrome. Yeah, of course it is. That's like pewter. It's not pewter. Right, do you want me to give you the full title? Right, okay. Pewter so, is not chrome. So, vintage chrome letterbox with door knocker art deco home project replacement. That's the title. There's no home replacement. Yeah, that's yeah, just kind of that, that's just the key word that they're putting there. Right, so I'm it doesn't really make the title like flow it. that much, but and it's art deco. Art deco. That's what it says. That'll make it, it doesn't okay. say art deco style. It says actual. I think it says actual art deco. It says actual art deco. Art deco. No, well, it doesn't say actual, say. but it says art deco. Mm. That just reminds me of looking at pewter, mm. doesn't it? The way it's don't beaten. mention pewter. Pewter's a metal no, on its own. Be, I know it's not. That pewter. is chrome. It means it's been chrome, chrome plated. It's been chrome. Chrome plated. Yeah. I know it's not pewter. I'm just saying it's got that. I've got a price in my mind. Go on then. Say I it. Right, right, right. Both can have a yeah, confirm. No, I think have a look I, at that I photo. Yeah, no, I've I got a price in this my mind. This is one you could say? get. You know, this is one that yeah. is more along your lines. Yeah. What would you say? No, you say. Pay? I'm saying sixty pound. Mm. I don't think you're far out actually. Remember, yeah, ten percent margin is what yeah. you've got. Mm. I'm saying sixty pound. I could be shocked, and it could be hundred pound. I'll say forty-five pound. So what, what we agree what on? What you agree on? Half of the difference. It's um, fifteen. Isn't it? Fifty-five. Isn't so it? 50, 50, 50 to fifty-five. Pick one. What did I say? Forty-five. Forty-five, and you said sixty, right? Forty-five, sixty. <coughs> fifteen difference. 60. So, it's so seven, fifty-two pound fifty or something. So well, let's not. I'd say fifty pound then. Let's not do fifty-two pound fifty. Let's do a more easy. Kind I'm of. saying either sixty or fifty. What have I said? Fifty. But you've gone on too much. That's why no. I came. You could do fifty-three pound. What did I say? You said it wasn't 45. far out at sixty, didn't you? So we're going to meet in the middle. Let's say fifty pound. Uh, forty-eight. <laughs> Wait, what are you agreeing on? It's, it's not a haggle. Forty-eight. Four, right. Are you 48. sure? Are you okay with that? Forty-eight. Yeah. Right. Go on. Okay. You happy with your guesses again? Yeah. You think you're well? Fairly... I'm, I'm. I'm saying to you actually. We're either near it or it's going to be way like hundred and odd pound. I wouldn't be shocked if I've got this completely wrong. Okay, I forgot what this went for actually. Even though I printed it off yesterday, and my memory is terrible. Yeah, I just think. So forty-eight. So you've guessing forty-eight. Yeah. So Grandma wasn't too wrong with her first oh, guess. It was again. close. I'm getting all these. So it sold like for six. seventy-eight oh, pounds. Yeah. yeah. So, I said 60. Yeah. I said 60. Yeah. It's nice, that is. 78 pounds. Yeah. So I can see, yeah. Uh, so you're close. You yeah. wouldn't have quite got it, but you were close. <coughs> I was still, every one had been nearest yeah. to the nearer the wheel bill to him. So that's yeah. that one. So as I say, I think we've got maybe four or five left now. Should so. have known more about uh, with it being art deco. Yeah. That's what so, that's one for Grandad, this one. I chose this one specifically for right. Grandad. I don't know whether he's going to get the price, but. Here is, uh, we've got this, Ella Fitzgerald and Count Bassey, oh. first Bassey, 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 yeah, Bassey. Uh, first press of vinyl record, so it's a first press oh, as well really? of this record, oh, well, at least that's what it says on the listing, so, so yeah, these in the Look last oh. six months have suddenly shot up in price because I've been yeah, watching them all the time, price. and I got you one of these, a big one if you remember, I got it especially. Ella Fitzgerald one, did you? No, no, no. No, I think it was something it. else. It was Frank something Sartre else. Ke but it was Kenscott. a really yeah. good one, you know. Was yeah. it Frank Sinatra? I'm That's not sure. Yeah, I no, remember getting it, yeah. Uh, I think it was... Frank Sinatra? No, no, it you wasn't. It, it wasn't. Mm. It was a classical yeah. bit of music. Yeah. I remember I've never it. I've seen that already. Mm. Classical it was. So this right. is, when you say first press, what do you mean? It means it's the, the first one. Off the, off yeah. the thing. Off the, yeah. the, the, yeah. made by a Or like a first right, back, I'm I think going, it's like a first batch of them uh, or something. 
It's within the first. It's not batch. a single. Not a single, was it? Was it seventy eight? No, that's that? a seventy eight. Uh, yeah. Let me let yeah, me just double check for you. It's got to be Adam. It's not, but it's got to be Anthony. It doesn't say. It doesn't say where it's a single or. I think that's got to be. Listen, it's got to be a 78 because in that era when that was That's first made, were. there was no, no smaller yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. So it no has singles, to be yeah. a 78. I'm going to say. Mm. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In that era, if I'm, I'm, I'm not very well up on my record, but mm. yeah, I know what you're saying now. Ella Fitzgerald was a great jazz mainly singer in the 50s I've when I was in the army. When I was oh. in the army, what, what she sang. Every time you say goodbye right, yeah. was like number one yeah, at that yeah. time. That was 1957. Right. All them years ago, right? Yeah. So that's going to that's right, going to come, you know, make up the price that that, that yeah. era that it came. Have you got a price? The I other thing, you, to knock it down a bit, there was loads and loads of these made. The other thing <coughs> that I've just been watching this last. Few weeks actually, and these are suddenly becoming more expensive as yeah. time goes on. Come on Bill. So have you, you actually seen first. that? Have you actually seen that record? Though have you seen that? No. Record? I don't remember ever seeing it. Have you seen prices of that record or anything no. like that? No, no, no. No, all as I can, I'm looking at them now and they're getting more expensive. Have you got a price in mind? I, I have, but you tell me first. Right, I know what I'm going to go. With. I'm right. going to go with ninety pound. I'm going to say. Sixty pound. Right. So, you've locked. Oh so no, you've not. not made, no, you've not, not locked got your destiny. No, no, you've got to confer yet. Haven't yeah, you? we're not got the. So you're saying what? Nineteen sixty. The difference is thirty. So it's fifteen pounds off ninety. Seventy five. Right. So you're locking your guessing at seventy five. Seventy five. Yeah. Right. So I will say that your guesses for pretty much all the items have been oh, quite high. Oh, no, um, quite. So, if you quite notice high. the first item you went for, what, 120 or mm -hmm. 90, which you got that one right, mm -hmm. but there's been other ones in the past that have been a lot lower. Yes. Yeah, there has. The last you, two. So, one maybe one just from. for the next few, consider that and maybe yeah. think, or, or maybe I'll go a bit lower, or maybe I'll go a bit higher. But yeah. think, just think, really think about it. Because this one has sold for 19.99 for oh, post. That's why I went less. So, so I got nearer you to You got it. that one. Yeah, but £60 is you know. still quite a lot more. Out. I can see why you're no, thinking we're just, that. We're just thinking I can see why you think, especially yeah. with it being that first place, so it would yeah. throw you off and Thought you think that. Yeah, think yeah. about that. Maybe just think about your guesses. And probably in another three months it'll be about bloody 50 no, quid. It might not be. Because they are going up. I've been so what them. have we got? For, we've got two, you at two right so far, haven't you? Yeah. I'm pretty so. sure you've got two You're right two so far, right. yeah. Oh God, not catching up with Andy yet. Right, One so we could next, beat, we could beat him nearly. Up so I put this in here because I am a big fan of Doctor Who and a thought well, a Doctor. Doctor Who figure in here. Doctor Who Joe Grant Aztec outfit figure, and this is a B and M exclusive. So you know B and M store. Yeah, &M, yeah. Yeah. They did a B and M exclusive range of figures. Oh right. Um, so. There you are. That's so the nobody there. else did these, only them. Oh, only B and M. Only, right, but, oh, you know, right. they're fair, B and M. Um, they're still fairly common from B and M. You know, it's not like it's an right, incredibly it's not, rare thing. Yeah. It's just that they did it as an exclusive. Uh, oh. What age group is it appealing to? Well, it's Doctor. Okay, well, um, this one's a bit different oh, because you, so Joe Grant was um, a companion in the seventies, right. early seventies. And so you've got the older fans that it's appealing to, yeah. but you possibly may get a few younger kids picking it up. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's there's a good age That's range great, there. Isn't it, that? Mm. Hey. Being a, it's a female well, thing. And it? because it's doctor. No, no, it's both no, it's men and joking. women will collect it. Not just children even collect it. It's men it's and women. Yeah, men yeah. And, and, yeah, and, I'm not saying that. I'm saying the actual image. Yes, it's, it's as a, a girl. Um, yeah, it's Joe Grant. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but that, I don't. I think that boys and Men were still going for it. Right, right, I've got a price in mind. You Go on, you say. You, you well, say have a think it. about it. Don't jump know, the gun too quick. But I'm first. still, because it's Doctor Who. Yeah, that's I'm what I'm definitely pull it. going for. I'm definitely going for 90. 90. I'm gonna go for. <laughs> He's not giving anything away, out, Adam. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm giving loads away with my plumbing no, signals. I, I am. I know. I'm, I'm giving I loads away. I'm giving too much away. Here. Oh. 
Yeah, but I'm thinking I'm now, am I going say, too hard? I'm I'm giving, like, no. I, I've given a lot more away today than I did for my mum. I'm being a lot kinder, to be oh, honest. Oh, well, I've gone too high, that's what it means. I'm going to say 60. But I'm still not coming down. Right, so we've got right, 60 we and 90. The that's the same as last time. Now, this is a big hint. What <coughs> happened last time when you said 90 and you said 60 and you went 75? We were way out. You were it's quite, quite out. So just think about that. Think. Just have a, see, I'm giving, I'm giving you a huge clue you know, there. Right, well, I'm going to come down, and I'll murder him if it is what I've said originally, 90. <laughs> I'm going to come down to, to 45. Okay. If you're saying 45, that's what I said before, wasn't it, 45? Should we stick at 45? Yeah, we'll stick at 45. Okay, so you're saying 45 Maybe pounds. Me on, laughing you're like saying 45 pounds. Yeah. I was giving you a huge clue I there. I know, but I thought you might so be having us on. So you're happy with to... your guesses? You're thinking... No, I think it's more. No, you think it's more? Oh, okay. I still think 90 odd. But 90 odd? <laughs> oh no, my God. No, we've gone for 45. It's sold for 90, 18, 99. Oh my 18, God. 99. I thought you might I was yeah. lowest. Oh, I thought 18, you might just be, uh, not being kind. No, I was because, being you know, kind. I was yeah, trying to say come down. To me, cause, but you know, no, no. Oh. I'm disappointed in that. It, yeah, but it's hard for us to know these things. Yeah, so. some of these are pretty hard to know. Yeah, no, so. but I thought he's having us on it. I, you know, I didn't think And the B&M it. exclusive makes you think it's worth a yeah, lot more yeah. than... No, was. I just thought because Doctor Who was this so is popular, more my people yeah. collect stuff. Oh, we do. So I really but, thought. But a lot of the figures money. are only worth ten to twenty yeah. pounds. They're not yeah. worth a lot. This well. is more my forte. Right. Right. Much to this price. Right, yeah, yeah. right. So it's next, we've got this, this right, pilot encore record player, Gerard. Gerard. RC120 uh, <coughs> also <coughs> changed jack and I, it's working. I, I, I <coughs> one, yeah. yeah. So there you go, talking, anyway, you can have a. 50s have a, again. Coffee mug. It's electric, it's all that. Uh, cool. Let me What's just check on the uh, thing here as well. Pilot and yeah, it's okay. it is it is definitely 1950s and as well. Yeah, said it's 50, and it's HMV. Working. And it's you should see a dog. Yeah. With a, a phone, oh, I've seen Picture that before. Me. Yeah, yeah, I can't see the logo. Maybe you can see it. Uh, no, because I think it's well, Pilot it's on Encore. Is it's, it? it's got it here. Pilot, Pilot Encore. Yeah. What's Gerard meaning? Record player Gerard, Ger Gerard RC120. I think they go together. I'm not oh, sure right. what that means. I'm not really too clued now, up what on that. Why say? is it showing the Beatles there? Uh, that's just, just a little albums, plot. It's just a little they don't, I don't think they oh. come with it. With it, I'm pretty yeah. sure they didn't come with it. Right, now I've just seen record, and, and this is, when, how old is this, Bill? 70s. 50s. 50s, mm. right. Mm. And they, they are popular vintage that things at the minute. That is collectible. Yeah, and the, a lot of the younger it's ones It's definitely are collectible. I know with radios and all that, yeah. so I'm more in my what would you forte say? than the dolls and things. I've got so a price. I would say, what would a thing, what did I pay for my Robert's radio? And this, is, and this is like going on eBay, isn't it? Yeah. I've got a price of £60. No, I don't think you're far out, actually. I'm going to say 75 Right, we'll have to meet. I'm saying 60 which we'll go. I'd rather go 75 and 60 it's, Again, it's 15 difference, so 7 off. What, what did I Let's say? Let's say 65 shall we? I'm saying 70 And I could be out on this, but 65 Go on, 65 65 Okay, 65. Have we done any better? Have we done any better? Have you done better? I don't think we'll be well. Oh, here's the price. Could be 40. It's sold for £118. Oh, my goodness, right. Plus postage. Surprise. Professional <coughs> service and tested fully working. So yeah, well, that makes a big difference. Yeah, it does. Well, it does, yeah. And you know what? The casing and everything on that is quite nice, isn't yeah. it? So as I said, it's quite bulky. That so as I said, it was well. tested, it was working. Mm. It, you know, it does make a difference. Yeah. Way out. That makes sense, but if it's, a, if it's electric thing with a lot of workings inside, yeah. it, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it does, yeah, it does oh, make it better. God. Right. So and next. And I've just seen a, a, in Manchester in one of my magazines a, a young girl and a boyfriend have bought this flat from yeah. one of the old factories, and she's just bought one. And it, the story was she bought this from. Something and it was forty five pounds. So yeah. I thought I could be high. Yeah. And she's got not that particular one though. No, no. 
Um, that's quite sure. Some of the record players are worth not a lot, and then others are worth yeah. a lot. And that's, it depends that's on the make. Quite, if it was HMV, yeah. I'd have yeah. said 150. And it's, it's, it's a bit bulky, but the actual yeah. outside of it is um, quite I used to have nice. one like that. It's a decent one. And I used to take it to the YCW on a Sunday night, So, and that was the time when Elvis Presley was right on top. Yeah. And he I was, think that's know, been an expensive one. Jailhouse Rock and I all that. that. I miss that, right. Right then, so next we've got this Ouija board. Do you know what a Ouija yeah. board is? It's uh, to do with uh, paranormal. Black, black magic. Paranormal and all black that magic. stuff. So, Ouija board, talking board set 1972. Parker, so it's a you know it's an officially licensed one. It's mm-hmm. Park, Parker Park, Brothers. Park, Parker Brothers did Monopoly, yeah, Monopoly. Oh, things yeah. like that. That's so, <coughs> but it's an interesting thing, you know. It's not yeah, really um, really common or anything well, like Parker that. You don't Brothers, see it all the time. Right, Parker Brothers. I worked at their factory. Yeah, in, uh, talking boards. I worked in the, their factory in Leeds, in yeah. Yorkshire. Yeah. That's where they were. And they was one of the first with uh, Monopoly. Yeah. And somewhere in this house, I've got the oh, set of on. Monopoly yeah. that I got from oh, that from company. Them, yeah. So that would be in the late 60s, yeah. the early 70s. It's a talking it's board set as well. Well, that's what it says on the title, yeah. yeah. So I, I guess it makes some sounds and stuff that you are, you, while you're using it. It's, it's my price into? is £25. I've made the decision. You made a decision at £25. Mm. I'm going to say. Lower or higher? I'll say. I'm going to say 40 40 Oh, I don't want to say go 25. than 25 really. 40 30 Let's say 30 30 I'm saying 40 You're saying 30 No, I'm saying 20 I'll go up to 30 yeah. Mm. Oh, I see what so you mean. So I'm saying 40, right, go on. On this one, should we go with my price? 30. Come no, we go halfway. If I lose this. Right, so you're saying 35. Mm. I think it's right. I'm going to lose, Bill. So you're saying <coughs> 35 <coughs> pound. Yeah, I'm saying it's going to be more than that. All right, how much more do you think? So five, I said 45, I'll stick to 45. Yeah, okay. It sold for. One hundred and sixty oh pounds. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. One hundred and sixty pounds. Yeah, it's a, a slightly rare oh. thing, you know. I said So what would our my pull it but I said that no, no, monopoly, monopoly no. is not really no, worth that not. much. But um, oh I did say God. it's not that common. You don't see it all the time. No. To give you a mm, slight little bit of a hint. I still thought there must be more people into it than I thought. Oh, there is. Yeah, yeah. one hundred and sixty pounds. So that is that incredible. That so, gives you some idea what to look for, doesn't it? Yeah. You're looking round for stuff. Yeah. Well, this is what well, people well. are watching now. They can get a better idea. <laughs> Idea. Of what to of what to pick up from what we're kind of working on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, you're all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're fine. Don't worry. People people will accept the coffin. It's okay. Um, so it's not the coffin you coffin. It's the coffin you carry it off in. What? Oh God. Oh my God. What is that? Oh, no. Tongue twister. Well, no. Right. So this is one you might not get because it's very. Obscure one, it's very different. It's clothing we as well. Out on that, mm. we? I'm into so, oh, where, so clothing, I might yeah, better. where 2004 Patagonia Rhythm Hoodie? It says Deep Pile here, Deep Pile Retro X. I don't oh, know whether Deep God. Pile is something like Deep Pile, like this, you know. It's... How do you mean? Uh, that's like, not like... Deep Pile, that's Deep Pile, that rock. Is you mean, oh, is that to the rock? No, 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 no it's Deep, just deep pile, pile means this. That it's got like there. you know a lot it's of quite, of it being like a... wool, but it stands oh, out. No, uh, deep pile. It's that's fairly thick or something. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Right. It's thick. Okay. Okay. It's okay, for it. keeping you warm. I've never I've never heard that phrase before. Yeah. So that's it's interesting. A um, and then fleece jacket. So it's fleece. like a fleece or a jacket. <laughs> so it's fleece. Yes. Um, and it's size large. Now mm. focus on the title here. Ooh. So we've got we've got rare in the title, so that yeah. gives you an indication there. And it's what nineteen what? No, it's two thousand and four. Two thousand. And it's Patagonia, which is a very good brand. Yeah. Could you tell What's me the brand, the, yeah. uh, the the fabric? Is it cotton? Uh, or is it I'm not wool? sure. It should be wool because no, of the not, pile be. of wool. I don't no, it's not a certain. No, it doesn't. It doesn't I mean, say on the title. It's, it's important. It'll be fle- it's saying it in it when it says fleece. Yeah, but it could be man-made. Fleece is. It's not. Fleece, fleece should is, be wool. 
off of, off no, a sheet. No, we have fleece blankets. Um, we I'm have not fleece so things. sure. Adam, me and that. It's not wool. All I can say is that it's wet. Oh, no, it's not wet. It's oh. Patagonia. Yeah. It's going to be made of a good material because it is yeah. from a good what, brand. I don't, but I, don't, I don't know. What size sure. is it? Oh, large. 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 Got, large. Oh, not yeah. reading it. Okay, I've got large, right? I know what I've I'm saying. I've got a price. I'm saying 120. You're saying 120. Yeah. And I don't mm. want to move from 120. I'm saying 90. Right, should we meet in the middle and say 100? Uh, mm. Well, your middle would be what? One, so five or something. one five, 105, wouldn't it? Should we go for 105? Yeah, what am I saying? 90? Yeah, 105. Yeah. 105? You're locking and it in? It could be 200, not, or it could be 60 quid. You're locking it in? Yeah, could be six, so I think 120 is a good guess. That 90 quid's not a bad guess as well. Uh, but bear in mind, it's the last one. The last mm. one, you know. So it's gonna always. It was worn once as well. It's, it's, be, it's not a new one, is it? Always I, it's it always gonna be a, a big one to finish on, kind of thing. So oh, the sold be. price is 235 pounds. I said it could be 200. Oh my postage. god. So let's just collate the results. So you didn't get that one, you didn't get the fleece, you didn't get the Ouija, you didn't get the record player, you didn't get the, I'm just collating because I forgot actually, you didn't get the record, you didn't get the letterbox, you didn't get the chuckle vision, you didn't get the Winnie the Pooh, you did get the Pokemon, bang on. Yeah. And you did get the Stretch Armstrong, so yeah, you did yeah. get two. two out of ten, and mom which got is three. one less <coughs> than my mum. Oh. However, my mum actually got a slight little bit of help with me on getting that third yeah. one. And you were trying to help us, but I, I was yeah. thinking you were fooling us, trying to. No, I'm not. Us. No, I'm not. Yeah, actually, no, you don't yeah, want I that. Don't it. To you don't, no, want, you me, don't want to be as, influenced. Me as the host, I have to be kind <laughs> yeah, of honest. You know? Yeah, yeah. You I'm can't. Sorry, no, I'm, I'm not going to say. No, I'm not going to say. No, it's been wrong. Yeah, I'll give I you a little clue, but if I give us. you a clue, it's yeah. going to be a genuine clue. It's not going to be something I'll to throw you off. I'll remember that next time. I'll yeah. Be so, <coughs> you guys on the leaderboard, we've got my mum in at three out of ten. You guys are two out of ten. I'm getting my dad to do it. I'm getting a few oh, people to do it, and we're going to see who comes out it's on top. It's bad, really, but yeah, but we've got to be honest. I include about four or five things there, but we're very obscure and very hard for you to get. I didn't expect you to. Get. I mean, when you started off with getting the first two right in succession, I was thinking, wow, you're doing really yeah, good. Yeah, I bet that we're going to get so, ten. you know, that, yeah, it's just yeah. how it goes, really. Yeah, so. it's, it's hard, yeah, it's it's depending on well, what... Well, wait, 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 you're not done yet, we're not done. We'll only be in a minute. So, yeah, so, did you enjoy it? Was it something you I liked? Did, yeah. Yeah? It was, yeah. yeah, yeah, it was it very was good. It gives us a rough inside. idea now. Yeah. Yeah, we've, we've been educated by yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. For guessing in future. Yeah, because yeah. we, you, yeah, it's just obscure. And it's what, hard. Some of the things that what it, I depends to what say you're used to. If, it, if if anything would have come up about clocks in the 1920s, yeah. I'd have got it right. Away. Yeah. I'm interested in the fact that I, that last one, that jacket, I did say as well. I could be way out, and it could be 200 and odd pound. Yeah. So I had actually, I would have got that right, but I said 200 and odd pound. Yeah, I'm just I know, that's what you said. It was I, one I'd, of those When items. I was picking that up, you said that to, oh, it could yeah. be over 200, and I thought, oh, you should have blown guessed that. It's one of them items that but I you knew don't, could go yeah, you, one you don't way know, or the other. Though, do you? No, you don't know. No. Like, yeah. The record was the same, I thought that could have gone 200 and odd, and then... It wasn't that it was much cheaper yeah. than... No, it was a shock to me, too. Yeah, quite interested. So, yeah, no, it's good. good um, I suppose we'll wrap up the video here, then. So if you want to say bye to the camera... Bye, everyone. Um, Sorry about the coffins. Yeah, Sorry. nice to meet you guys. So we'll leave it there, and I'll see you in the next one. See you very soon, bye. guys. Bye. We'll get it right next time.